All right, so once you have your course model working and passing the test suites, now the next step is where does the data for this actually come from? And so the next two parts of the MP are going to have you augment the existing server code. So remember, this is um, code that would normally run on some other server on the internet, but you're actually getting to implement this as part of the MP. So that's what we're going to talk about now. And then in the next part, we're going to add code to the client that actually communicates with the server. Now, again, the, the, the sort of pattern behind this MP is to read the code that we provided and then extend it in some fairly straightforward ways. We're not asking you to, to, to go off and do something really crazy and new. We're asking you to use what's here, understand it, and then make some modifications to it. And so what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through again, a little bit of the code in server.java that you'll need to understand in order to complete this. And so the, the idea behind a web server is that, or, or a simplistic version of this, is that you pass in a path. That path has information about the data that you want. And so right now, uh, there is a single um, set of paths that we've established for this server. They start with summary. And the format of them, if you look at how get summary works, is that get summary expects the summary to have two parts. The first part separated by slashes. So for example, um, if we had summary.2020.fall, that's a valid path. It expects the year to come first and then the the semester to come second. It splits them, which we've done before, use it, you know, used in a forward slash. If it doesn't find two parts to the path, it sends back what's called a bad request, which means you didn't give me a request that I can understand. Otherwise, it looks up the summary in a map by combining these two components together. Okay. If it finds it, it sends back the summary as a string that it finds in that map. So there's a map in this server.java that maps from a particular formatted string that consists of year underscore, um, year underscore semester to the information that you're supposed to send back, okay? Now, it turns out there's two maps in this, um, in this file, uh, or let's see, are there two maps? Yeah, there are two maps. Um, there's a map of summaries, right? So you'll see that right here. That's a map from string string, but there's also this map of courses. Okay. Um, and we haven't used this yet, but your server is already loading this information correctly from that, uh, fall underscore 2020, uh, sorry, uh, 2020 underscore fall dot JSON file. So this is already correct. So none of the code down here you need to touch, right? This code was loading the summaries. You use those in the first part of the MP, MP0. This is now loading the course, the full course information. Okay. And so again, this is a place where what you want to do is you want to look carefully at two things. First of all, this dispatch method, this is what gets called first. So whenever the server receives a request, the dispatch method is responsible for kind of routing it to the right place. So what the dispatch that it does is it says, if the path starts with slash summary slash, that means that this is a request for a course summary. And so it passes off the request to this get summary method. Okay, well, what do the requests for full course information look like? Let's look at the test suite. This is also in the documentation, but I'll just show you what the test suite is doing. Um, the, when the test suite tests your server, it's creating a URL. It's creating a path that consists of slash course slash year semester department number. So something let's let's write this down, right? Um, and actually let's let's go ahead and we'll just create like a new method here. We'll call it private mock response. Um, this is going to be called get course. It's going to take. Uh, we'll just again use the same idea as the first part. Uh, oh, I need to spell things properly. So this is um, and what this is going to take is something that looks like course. Is it course or courses? It's course slash 2020 slash fall slash CS slash 125. Okay. And then it also needs to return a mock response. And then I'm going to need to add it into this uh, if else statement because it's now a valid set of paths that the server should respond to. So, 
couple things you need to understand here. So, and, and this is another place where you're gonna look at a few pieces of code and mimic them. Uh, not cut and paste, because they're not quite the same. There's a few important changes you need to make. So look at get summary. Look at how get summary takes the path as a string and breaks it into parts, and then uses those parts to look up something in the map. Let's go down here and look at the way that we load things into the map when we're loading for courses, right? So it looks like, let's see, the file name, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so how are we actually, uh, we're actually uh, loading this by course. So that's actually kind of interesting, right? So this indicates that uh, courses, which, uh, where is that up here? Yeah, uh, courses, uh, where is this? Is actually, uh, right, it's, it's a map from summary to string. Um, so it creates a, a summary from the course and then it sticks it in the map. And so what you're gonna need to do in order to look up information about the course, you'll have to take that path and turn it into a summary. Um, and then we'll have to go back and make sure that our summary hash code method works, uh, which it should. Uh, I think the one that we, let me just double check. The one that we uh, sent you out with, uh, if you haven't changed it, let's see here. So we provided you with, I think both equals and hash code, hash code would be, uh, yeah, so the hash code's correct. Don't, don't touch this, this works fine. So I need to take a path, I need to convert it into a summary. Uh, and then I need to look up, use that summary to look it up in the map. Now, to be honest, we don't test this map at all. If you want to do things differently, if you want to store the map differently and you want to change things in this file properly so that they work, totally up to you. Um, but the body of Git course is going to look a lot like Git summary. There's going to be a few small changes here and there, but basically it needs to do the same thing. It needs to look up, it needs to take the path, convert it to something that it can look up in this course's map, and then if it finds it, it's gonna return whatever is in that course's map as a string. And if it doesn't find it, it's gonna return this 404. And you can essentially borrow the same code from this method in order to accomplish this. Then you'll have to make some changes down here to your dispatch method. Once you're done with those things, then your test suite for this part of the MP will begin to work. Uh, and then you can move on. So again, focus on in MP1 on understanding the code that we've given you and writing more code that looks like that code. This is always a great way whenever you're getting started at a job or working on an open source project to fit in. You don't just go off hog wild and write things the way you want to. When someone asks you to add something, you look at the code that's there and you follow those same patterns because that's going to allow you to produce things that are gonna make sense in the context of the project that you're, that you're a part of now. Okay, so this is what you have to do for, for server.java. Um, understand get summary understand you know how to create something that you can work into this map and then modify the dispatch method as needed so that your routes actually work